So, like, as he said, go probably seems to be over the hole. And this vise, also, you can kind of see it. You don't want to drill into the pieces of steel. You want to drill them with center. So, you want to open up the vise. Make sure when you drill a hole, you put the point. Say, I'm going to drill here on this side. You want to put that right down the middle so that way the drill clears everything. You don't end up cutting any steel in the vise or the table. You want to lower it because now you see it doesn't fit. You want to get it like that so now it fits. And lock it. Get a little handle. And then you want to put the bit in, tighten it. It's not cycling anywhere. What I would do is I turn it on, I turn it off. You'll notice the bit spins perfectly straight. That's what you want. There's ways you can put it in the vise with a drill bit. At an angle, when you spin it, it'll go like that. And you won't be able to get the bit to catch on the metal. It's really dangerous if you try and do it. All the bit is crooked. We've had people try and do that. It's really bad. Make sure it's really straight. Um, we have some drill bits that are carpentry work, carpentry work bits, and they're kind of crooked. They only really work in the hand drill because the hand drill can rotate around to counteract the angle. Um, these very, very expensive drill bits, don't lose them, um, are very perfectly straight and fit nicely into the hole in the truck. So, turn it on, you can use the light, if you want it, you can use the X marker where it's going to go, I'll just use the light. You want to have one hand here, and then just push down, you want to go, a peck drill. Peck drill is you go in, and you pull out, go in, pull out, go in, pull out, go in, pull out. Exits, there's sharp metal. You go to the sander. Now, if you guys pay close attention to what Jesse was saying, all you talked about this is that put down force on the wheel. You don't have to all the time. You generally do want to. Be really careful you do. But that's when you're going in this direction, you want to. But since the blade spins this way, the frictional force is down onto the table. So if I put this down, it's gonna push it down to the table. The only force I need to counteract is the outward force. So if I just hold it like that, it'll stay there. And you can just go like that. And then you get smooth, very smooth finishes. And then Sand the whole part down to prep for painting and welding. Yeah, so you guys can see really quickly how to drill a hole. If you want to do this precisely, you would use the scribe, you would mark the location, get a center punch, a tiny needle, it's like a hammer extension, it's a steel pointer. You put it on, you hammer it, and then you have a tiny dot. The drill bit will try and glide into the dot, and then you'll be able to drill it like that. Do you have any questions? Can I use the drill press? Different costs and it's much harder. But when you get We'll go over some lading stuff. You guys can go and stand kind of around the lading. You can go behind the table. Right. Yeah.